Hey everyone, welcome to the semicolon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Keras on Linux. We'll be using Ubuntu for this tutorial, but the process is same for every other Linux distribution. So let's start. We first install Anaconda as it comes with lots of packages helpful for data science and lots of other applications. It also comes with Jupyter Notebook and the Spider ID which are quite helpful. So to install Anaconda, we go to the official Anaconda website, click on downloads, select Linux, choose Python 3.7 or whatever is latest. I'm choosing the 64-bit installer. You have to choose the one which matches your OS architecture. It downloads a bash script and once it's downloaded, execute the bash script like this. Follow the instructions and answer the questions it asks and make sure you read the whole license agreement. Everyone does it. So if you observe my installer did not change the path variable, so I'll have to change it manually later. And towards the end of installation, it asks if you want to install Visual Studio Code. I like it, so I've answered yes. You don't need to answer yes. You can type no if you don't want it. And once it's done, you have to make changes in the path variable like we discussed before. So open the dot bash rc file and modify the path using gedit. Close the terminal and open it again to observe the changes. Now that we have added Anaconda to the path, we can directly type Anaconda Navigator to move to the Anaconda dashboard. And in the Anaconda dashboard, we can manage environments, we can manage the versions of different Python libraries and even the versions of Python. Amazing, isn't it? And it generally takes a while to start. So. Let's move to TensorFlow till then. So we can install TensorFlow by typing pip install TensorFlow. Pip is a Python package manager and was installed with Anaconda. And this is the Anaconda navigator. You don't need to look at it, it just works. So let's go back to TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a library for high performance numerical computation. It is a popular machine learning framework and it is quite powerful, but it is little difficult for beginners. If you want to implement popular deep learning algorithms, then you don't need to learn TensorFlow. You only need it if you're going to significantly modify the popular learning algorithms and then test them out. So Keras is another popular deep learning framework which provides a high level abstraction for the complexities of TensorFlow. It is very simple and intuitive to implement deep learning algorithms with Keras. And that is our aim, to install Keras. Keras uses TensorFlow in the backend. So once TensorFlow is installed, we can install Keras. And TensorFlow is now installed. We can test it out by importing TensorFlow. And after installing TensorFlow, we can type pip install Keras and install Keras. Sudo doesn't work with Anaconda. So no point trying it out. We can test out Keras installation by importing sequential from Keras models. Once that is done, we've successfully installed Keras. Yay. We've installed Keras, TensorFlow, Anaconda. And to check the Keras config file, it's called keras.json. Open the .keras folder and the file inside it is keras.json. Here you can modify the backend. If you're not using TensorFlow, you can change it. You can modify the image data format. Again, depending on the libraries, depending on your application, you can modify all that. Now, now that you've set up Keras, you could follow the other tutorials on this channel to implement CNNs, RNNs, and LSTMs using Keras. And if you need help understanding that, we have tutorials for which explain CNNs, RNNs, and LSTMs as well. So, see you there. Thank you.